guys, so I'm coming to you with an interesting, I guess, video. Um, it's makeup that I waited a while to pull the trigger on. Um, I don't know what I'm going to call this video yet. Basically, things come out, they get popular, you know, you, you see things and everything, but then you're still like, eh, I don't know. Or just like, you're not, you're late to the game, rather. Is that what I want to say? Being a beauty reviewer and things like that, you would think like all these hot releases, I'm always on them, which is not true. Some things just don't interest me, but other things it's like, it's almost like you're at a state of like, eh. you know, it's like, it's, it's something that's definitely worth a review, but is it definitely worth your coin? Like it's one of those situations. So I don't really know how to explain it, but it's just makeup. I waited a while before I pulled the trigger. What I was waiting for, I don't know, but I'm going to go ahead and just explain those to you. The majority of them are eyeshadow palettes, actually. I think that's one of the things that comes out the most frequently, new eyeshadow palettes, new eyeshadow palettes, and with so many out, we can't buy them all, and some of them are just like, I'm late to the game. I finally got it. You know, things like that, and I want to show you, tell you how I feel about them, and was it worth the wait, or could I have done with just not getting it at all? And so there we go. Okay, so the first thing, I guess in order oh uh, we're the naked palettes i'm holding all four I have the nakeds one two and three as well as the naked smoky here um and the naked basics one and two did i just go out and buy all of them no um they had a vault i was on youtube for years um i know the naked palette's been out for a while i was on youtube for years um not that many years, like two, three years, three years or so, two, three years. Uh, and I didn't own a naked palette. And I actually, I didn't want to say to pride or brag in it, but I was okay being, not owning the naked palette. Everyone, I tell you, everyone owned the naked palette. Like everyone owned, I don't know at what point all of them were out, like at what point in time, but at least the naked one. Like this is be as a staple, it is a classic, it is a iconic thing, and it will, will always be an iconic palette in my mind. This is the naked one. It's based on the impact and what it had in the community, in the makeup community. It really was awesome. I just didn't own any. Um, I didn't, I got into, when I first started YouTube, I was strictly drugstore makeup due to budget and not having one. Um, and then my first, like, high-end palette I bought was a Lorac Pro. I love Lorac Pro. And I fell in love with the Rock palettes and her other releases. I was on them. I don't know. Urban Decay. I bought the Urban Decay Ammo palette. That was, like, one of my first... That was my first Urban Decay purchase. It was like on sale at Ulta for like $16. But, yeah, no, 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 the Naked Palettes. And they were $54 a piece. And it was all one of those situations I was this close to get, getting the Naked 3. Once I was like, I think I should try one of these. I was like, the Naked 3, because I like the rosy tones. But then it was like $54. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Then all, all the other ones, is like, do I want to try them all? So then, oh my god, Urban Decay released this Naked Vault with all four of them. One, two, three, and the smoky and the two basics for $165. And I was like, yes, opportunity. And I bought bought the vault and now I have them all. And honestly, I don't dislike them, but I don't reach for my naked palettes as often. I mean, they still look pretty good. Um, I used the naked one the most out of all of them, believe it or not. No, the naked smoky. Naked one is like second place. The naked three, the one I thought I would love the most, I actually love the least with the rosy tones. By the way, I keep all my brushes. I rarely use the brushes out of palettes. I think I use one brush out of my palettes. I keep the brushes in the plastic in the, in the palettes. I just don't use them. I probably should. Probably should store them somewhere. I don't know. Uh, Naked Smokey is my favorite. Is my favorite. It is. This is one I use the most. I grab the most. I reach for the most. But for the cultural impact that these naked palettes had on the community and makeup lovers and beauty lovers and makeup artists and everyone in between, no. I don't. They're not my favorite neutral palettes. They're not. The Naked Smoky is probably my favorite smoky palette, but the Nakeds are not my favorite neutral palettes. The Naked Basics too. Oh my goodness. I use these if I need a cool matte shade. If I need a cool, you know, and I'm just going through stuff. But these are the most boring. In, they are just boring as hell. They're not. I like the idea of them. I wish they came out with different themes of them, like a warm one, a plum one, but I guess I wouldn't be naked anymore. But um, like these are four white no, what I'm doing with this? No. Um, the black is good. This cool shade undone. Like, they're cool to have that single shade if you need it. 
um, and I have in my collection to compare to things. They're good quality shadows, but just my style and my style, what I like in a palette, they just don't do it for me. But I'm glad I purchased them to know that, and I got them at a discount to know that, instead of buying them full price. Um, again, the quality of the Naked palettes are excellent. I, Naked for Smoke is my favorite. Naked 1 is next, then the Naked 2, then the Naked 3, um, as far as those go. But yeah, that's... I went so long without owning a naked palette and then finally owned them. I was like, eh. I can understand how they're holy gross for some people. They're not for me. They're not my favorite neutrals at all. Keeping it real. Keeping it real. I can do beautiful looks with them, but again, I just, they're boring. I don't have a desire to reach for them all the time, except the Naked Smokey. Okay. Um, the next eyeshadow palette, these are all eyeshadow palettes. Oh no, I have that. Um, is I guess Juvia's Place. I'll go with them. They're a little bit more recent. I didn't wait as long as the Naked Palace, but they're a little bit more recent. I own two Juvia's Place palettes right now, and they came from IMAX this year, 2017. Um, I don't even know when Juvia's Place came out, but they were out for a while, and I was just hesitant. This new online company, these beautiful shades, this interesting packaging, but I'm like, who are they? Sometimes you're skeptical, like, too good to be true, honey? I don't know. My sister had got one and was like, you should you should try. I don't know. To order off a site. Not necessarily order off a site I've never ordered from or I'm skeptical about. I just don't know. Um, I didn't necessarily hear bad things about it. I hear bad things about everyone's customer service. Like, I feel like one person has a bad experience and every the customer service is horrible. Um, but that's the only thing maybe I could have heard. But it just wasn't. It was they just didn't um yeah, it wasn't something I wanted to pull the trigger on. This is the Nubian 2. Um, I also have the Mini Masquerade. Beautiful palette. This is one that I am. I don't regret getting it. I wish I didn't wait. Like, I wish it was in my life longer. Um, these, the Juvia Place is wonderful. I actually just ordered their two new blush palettes. So, uh, look out for that. But definitely, yeah, I'm so excited. Look at the size of these pans. Um beautiful rich colors for women of color darker skin men of color people of color should i say um darker skin just wonderful for that uh the price is okay i don't the two palettes i got from imax and i can't remember if they were discounted or not but i know they have like bundles and their prices aren't too steep uh but yes i don't i don't regret this it's also kind of weird look at it here you go. Do you see on the back of the palette there's some information or something? Like the amount of shadow and made here. I know it's probably on the back of the box, but that's just so weird to me that there's nothing on the back of the palette. But I was just like, huh. but that's one that's definitely a thumbs up that I'm glad I finally pulled the trigger on and tried out. Okay? The next palette is the Huda Beauty. I've been talking about this palette a lot. I love this palette. Huda Beauty. I'm going to tell you why I waited to pull the trigger on this. This is Bad Boy $65. Ooh, girl. This palette is $65. Um, and I was just like, oh my god. And I saw, you know, videos and swag. Of course, I mean, this palette was out for a while. Videos and everything and all that stuff and all that stuff. And I was just like, oh my gosh. Oh my god. I was really, really like... But I'm like $65. I was just, it, was in my, it was in and out of my cart at Sephora for so long. It was, it was ridiculous. In and out of my cart. <laughs> in and out of stock on Sephora. Every, like, it was a mess. Because it's very popular. Really popular palette. And so what happened was, I went to New York, I went to IMATS, and like when we went to IMATS, you watch the vlog, I was shopping and in Sephora's and different things, and I had money, I put money aside to shop for makeup and spend on myself for makeup, and I saw it in store. I went to like the biggest Sephora, one of the biggest Sephora's, and it had a lot of displays that you wouldn't normally see at your other Sephora's, and this palette was there, and I feel like it was the last one. This palette was there, I could swatch it, I could play with it, and I touched, I touched this matte black. And I touched, I forgot which one it was, but one of these textured ones, I fell in love. It was in my basket. I was just like, yeah, there's no reason now. I have the money. The money is for me. It's the purpose. I, I'm in, I, I, everything I wanted, I, it, I had it. It was just, it was, it was, it was that. Like, that's what it was. And I bought it. And I do not regret it. This is one of my favorite palettes. I still don't like the $65 price tag. Um, but I love it. And the fact that it's called Rose Gold Edition, I am hoping she has some other additions coming out. Who? Who? Okay. Um, uh, but yes. I absolutely love it. I just did a review or comparison to a fake one on eBay because this is one that people would dupe a lot. I really enjoy it. The texture, the pigmentation. I did a whole review on this palette on my channel. Um, but yes, I don't regret pulling the trigger on this one at all, at all, at all. Gotta take a sip for this next one because almost everyone's probably gonna hate me for this answer. 
This next palette, I waited a while to pull the trigger because it didn't excite me. Pictures, swatches, even looks, it didn't excite me when people use it. However, this is probably like the one of the most hyped up, one of the most loved palettes right now, like in the past year or so. Since it came out and when I got it, when I finally pulled the trigger and bought it, I was just as disappointed. <laughs> I was just unenthused. I don't want to say disappointed like the quality was necessarily bad, but unenthused with it. And I still am. And I forced myself to use it um, because it's in my collection. And I kind of, it's weird because I don't want to get rid of it yet because I don't want to be, but I'm not, I just want it in my collection to not like it. Yeah, whatever. Sorry, everyone. I know every time I read makeup forums and I'm on Reddit, makeup addiction, everyone's suggesting palette. When people suggest palette, Modern Renaissance is always number one, always a favorite. Every like picture people post face of the days and selfies is always using this palette. And people make beautiful looks and you guys look gorgeous. This palette just does not, it doesn't excite me. It doesn't, in, in, um, it doesn't inspire me. It doesn't. It just does not. Um, I can appreciate the warm tones at the bottom. Beautiful. I can appreciate. I can appreciate all these shades. To be completely honest with you, that fuchsia, that deep plum. I just don't. It's it's not one of the palettes. Some palettes you look at and you're like, what I'm gonna do with this? Like, how I'm gonna put this together? And it it makes you think. Like this one. These shades are not really cohesive at all. But they're so pretty individually. We're like, I'm gonna put something. I'm gonna make this work. It's beautiful. The honest. It's like almost like not worth the work. Like none of these shades stand out to me exceptionally. Where I would love to even build a look around one of them. It doesn't. The quality is there. Um, they're a little powdery. Again, that's not a um. A, a thumbs down in my opinion but some people I don't know it bothers some people and they're really pretty like these are pretty but even still like I don't desire to put them on my eyes like I can't wait to get this back you know how some things I don't know they're, the quality is good now, Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows is the first palette of the Anastasia eyeshadow line that I bought I don't own any Anastasia singles I don't own any of that and I thought okay this would be a good start even when I did decide to buy it, it uh, mm. Sis, I don't know. I don't know, and I'm being completely honest. I don't know what it is. I don't know. When I told someone, remember in a video, y'all, I told, I said I didn't like this palette when I first got it, and I was like, eh, like I was still reviewing it, and that girl went off on me like it was because I was trying to be a white girl with my blonde hair and blue eyes, and that's why I don't like that warm palette because everybody liked that palette. And I stick to cool tones. Do I look cool tone to you at all in this look today? But I remember that comment. And it stuck with me. And I was like, well, I was like, I don't know. Every time I think about this palette, I think about that comment. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Sorry. All right. And then finally, I have two items. Um, one, I didn't wait that long. But I was still like, meh, meh, meh. Didn't know if I wanted to try one. Um, and it is the Too Faced Love Light Highlighters. These came out with the Natural Love Palette, which I knew I was jumping on to get. But, it, you know, around that time with this collection with the highlighters. And I was just like, um, I don't know. I looked at them. I was like, they're so pretty. The packaging is the cutest thing you will ever see. But I was just like, not that do I need another highlighter. I don't need any more highlighters. But there are some highlighters I'm still just going to buy to review. But it was one of those situations where it's just like... They didn't speak to me. They didn't speak to me. None of the colors were unique. And I'm just like, they're like 30 bucks. And I'm just like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, I went in Ulta. I swatched them when I swatched the palette. I knew I wanted that palette. At that time, I remember. No, I had ordered the palette already. I was in New York when I ordered the palette. Because it, like, um, Ulta early release. And I went in Ulta for something else. Later on, when I got home, my palette was still, like, in shipment. I didn't get it yet. And I went in store and swatched the palette to make sure I made a good decision. And I did. And I swatched all the highlighters. Like, I could have got them then. I just did. It was one of those situations where... Uh, and then I finally... Well, I was... I don't know if I shopped online or got this in store. I don't remember. I was like... I was like, let me, um bring this gold one home because I can do some gold stuff let me bring this gold one home and the more I use it the more I loved it um this is called 
you light up my life and it's a true gold highlight it's it's really true gold which i can really appreciate doesn't have any reflex of anything else it's a true yellow like 14 karat type of gold situation really nice really pretty they're really soft and finely milled they're not chunky or glittery or sparkly or anything of that matter and i'm, I'm really happy with that but yeah i just i pulled the trigger and i'm and i appreciate it i really do appreciate it then the last thing that i really waited a while to get one because of the price tag and i just didn't understand it like like, uh -huh. I was scared of translucent powders and this one. I'm actually holding the deep one because the, the full-size translucent is in my kit. Uh, but this is the La Mercier powder. The La, Not this one I pulled. I didn't want to pull the trigger on. The specific translucent one. I'm just showing you the packaging of this one. The translucent one. $38 powder, which is not... It's, it's high. I'm not going to say I'm lying. It's not the highest, but it's high. And I was scared of translucent powder. I'm scared of the flashback. I'm scared. I was scared of all of that. Like, of the, um, you know, looking white, looking ashy. Especially from um, just having bad experiences with other translucent powders. Trying them out. Cheaper ones and different things like that. And I'm like, but everyone raved about this. All my white friends. All my black friends. All my every friend, makeup friends. People I didn't know online. Like, everyone raved about this. I didn't hear any bad reviews from any skin tone anything and like this translucent powder and I'm like all right y'all I'm like ooh so I got it <laughs> I actually had a sample of it. I actually had a small one in my collection for I got a deluxe sample of some kind of way did I get it from Sephora I was so terrified to use it it just sat there um and I finally used it I think maybe once or twice, but not enough to like, set my concealer. I was a little scared, um, and I was just like, you know what? I just can't. Like, I was so nervous, and I pulled the trigger, forgetting I had that other one, but I pulled the trigger on the big size, and I and I like it. I appreciate it. I still don't use it all the time because I have now that we have the deep one. She came out with the deep one, um, which I can appreciate. And I hopped on that, like the deep one. Like by the time this one came out, I loved it. I knew the quality and I loved her powder. I actually bought these at the same time in that same Sephora trip. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. So kind of half and half, some things I was like, meh, some things I liked that I waited for. Um, and you know, just thinking, like I do, I have a lot of makeup and I love makeup and I love collecting makeup. But you guys, I don't want anyone to be on that misconception that it's like a hoarder mentality where I have to have it all. No, I have standards i have you know things that interest me things that just don't interest me and there's some things that more than likely though um there are things that i love and i jump on and there are things that i'm like nah but most of the time my purchase is way somewhere in the middle where it doesn't necessarily jump out at me but it also does it's 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 curious you know things like that that's usually where i, I fall when i'm purchasing makeup in the middle there are things i'm really excited about don't get me wrong but honestly for the most part i usually am in the middle uh, but yeah, these things, I have more good than bad. Um, the Naked Palettes, the Modern Renaissance, the Naked Palettes, I just don't reach for as much. They're not my favorite neutral palettes. The Modern Renaissance Palette is, is I just don't, I don't like it. Um, I like some individual shades, so I can keep it for that, but I just don't like it. Uh, if I ever wanted to get rid of it, I'd give it to friends or family, things like that. I would, one day, but... It's not taking up any space right now. Uh, yeah. And so, every the Juvia's face, the Huda Beauty, um, the La Mercier. So, I had some loves. And, and it that can happen. You can watch as many reviews as you want. And you still don't know until you get it in your own hands and play with it yourself. So, yeah. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any other products mentioned in the video, feel free to leave them down below. I love you all. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.